funny. It's December, so it must mean it's Christmas. How exciting. So we are going to be in the Christmas story. And we're going to be singing some Christmas songs. Yes. Love it. It's going to be very exciting. So we've got Andrew explaining our story. We've got Sally doing that. And we're going to sing our Christmas story. You might remember this one. We'll have a look at it again if you don't know what you had. So we're going to carry on doing it. Welcome to Launchpad. Thank you again to Joe and Phoebe for some lovely music and songs. Today we're beginning the greatest story ever told. As you watch this cartoon, notice what the angels look like. Enjoy it. 
The Story of Christmas, Mary and Joseph. This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus, but before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. Oops! But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. Hey -o. One day, an angel came to Mary and said, Hi. Ah! That God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. Huh? She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. Uh, me? You will give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great, and he will be the king forever. Uh, hold on. Mary asked, but how can this happen? For she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow. The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. So Mary decided to trust God and all that he had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong. Uh. But Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh. Uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Uh, what? The angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus, and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, wow. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. You right? Really? Yeah! And took Mary as his wife, while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted in God, and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. I noticed that the angels looked like ordinary people. Now we're going over to Sally, who's going to show us today's craft. Hi lunch padders, hope you enjoyed that film and thank you so much Andrew for um, today. So today's craft, um, we're going to make a Christmas decoration and you can see I am in the mood. Um, and what we're going to try and make is a little hanging angel because uh, when Mary was visited, wasn't she, by angel Gabriel and uh, he said to her, God is with you. Do not fear, God is with you. And I've just written that underneath. So we're gonna have a go at making one of these. So what you're gonna need for today's craft is a paper plate, some tape, a bit of um, pipe cleaner. I've got some sparkly ones, some scissors, some pencils or, and a Sharpie. And I've got some cord just to hang it up with. Um, and to decorate mine, I've just got some stickers, but you can use glitter, uh, you can use anything at all. So here we go. So first of all, you get your plate and you cut out the little triangle like so, because this is gonna form your wings and this is gonna form the body. So once you've done that, this, you need to cut out a little circle um, and that's going to be the face. So on my face, I'm just going to draw a mouth. It's easier to do this now rather than later when, it's tr when you're trying to do it all together. And then I'm just going to colour in some hair. Now the one I did earlier, I did with pen. And when I went to stick it on, it just, you know, it was a bit messy, but you can take your time. 
I'm just going to roughly draw some hair on Angel's face. Probably can't really see that, but I've got my Angel's face. Now, you need a halo. So, get your pipe cleaner and then make a halo with it. Like so, just make a halo. There we go. And you just stick it with a bit of tape to the back of your angel's head. Again, I'm trying not to get my hands all over the angel's face. Here we go. So we've got an angel space, like so. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the angel's head, again with a bit of tape, just on top of my triangle. So stick this around. Like so. There we go. And there you have it. Now, what you need to do is take your main part of your plate and then with some more tape, stick your body of your angel onto the plate. So just stick a couple of bits over like that. And then I'm going to stick it on. Just make sure that your bottom part is just overstepping a bit like that. So you can see actually the skirt is coming a bit under that. You can just see that. There we go. So from that, I'm just going to write around the bottom, God is with you. God is with you. You. And then you just put, I've got to put a couple of obviously hands. Just like so, and that's the beginning of it. Now, to that, I've got some stickers which I'm just going to peel off and stick them on. Now, as I say, if you've got time, you can get some glitter, put some glitter glue on it. Um, and stick these on just so that they're a bit more decorative, really. And then I'm just going to cut them off. So, and then one in there. You don't have to waste any of these things, the little bits. I'm just putting mine just in between the angel's hands. I'll get another one. You can just do this and take the time and you can make any angel craft. There we go. It's quite fun. Go and the last one, and then that's it. So, I hope you have fun trying to make an angel craft, and I would love to see some of your attempts. The last one, here we go. So, you have something like that. So to that, I'm going to get some string and I'm going to stick it to the back of my plate. And here we go. Cut off now.
And there we have it. Your craft for this week. I've done a silver one and a gold one. So have fun doing those and send in some of your designs. What I've also done is I've made one a different paper craft of an angel. So it'd be good just to see what you come up with and we'll see you soon. God bless you. Bye. Thank you, Sally, very much. Wonder if you've noticed something that's just in front of me. That's our advent candle and I've just lit it. It's actually gone down to number two. Here's the very first Christmas card we got sent. As you can see, it's got some pictures of angels on the front and inside it says, and the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Christ Jesus. Now I want to show you three pieces of paper. First of all is this one, which says 100 plus. Do you know that's the number of promises that God made and then he kept when Jesus came the first time. Here's the next thing I want to show you. It's the name of the town where Jesus was going to be born, Bethlehem. It means house of bread. Do you know that's where King David was born? There must be something important in that. Here's the next thing I want to show you. It said this in the cartoon. This is where Jesus was going to be brought up, in Nazareth. Nazareth means a branch or a shoot. So you see, Jesus was God's wonderful branch of kindness reaching out to us. And last of all, you all know that name at the top that says Jesus. But do you know, in the Hebrew language, it's Yeshua. And Yeshua means God saves. Isn't it wonderful that you're seeing the greatest story ever told and you're learning how Jesus came miraculously to Mary and Joseph, who were going to be his parents, keeping God's promise to send a rescuer for all of us. I think it would be really good if we had a prayer. Let's pray. Father, we want to say thank you of all our hearts for the greatest story ever told, which is when you came as a little child in your son, Jesus, to be the one who rescues us from all the things we've said and done that are wrong. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the wonderful time of Advent leading up to Christmas Day. Bless everybody who's listening today their families, their loved ones. May we know even more of your light and your life and your love in our hearts. Amen. Now we're going to hand back to Joe and Phoebe for a song. And we want to say thank you to Sally for doing such a lovely craft for us. God bless you. See you soon. Hello everybody and welcome back. Well, wasn't that exciting? It was really good to hear how Mary and Joseph were told the news that Mary was going to have the baby boy. And I was thinking about how we can finish our time together today and I was thinking, well, what can we sing? What can we sing? I was thinking about Little Donkey. I was thinking, and then Paul came up with, what did Daddy say? Mm. Well, I shall let you think about it whilst we get the music ready but Paul said there is only one song we can sing and I hope you will enjoy singing it as much as we're going to enjoy singing it too. Hear the music Phoebe, off we go. <laughs>
Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together today and we are going to have some more fun next time learn about the next part of the Christmas story. So we shall see you soon. Bye!